My name is Spencer Fraze. I'm a digital solution consultant with ServiceNow, specializing in our strategic portfolio management solution. Today, I'll be going over some of the new features released in ServiceNow's Xanadu release, specifically on strategic planning and our strategic portfolio management solution. I will also be jumping into a live ServiceNow instance later in this video. So again, today we'll be covering our new scenario planning inside of our strategic planning workspace and our new ability to export uh, portfolio roadmaps to PowerPoint. Now, throughout the, this presentation, please keep in mind the safe harbor notice. So portfolio managers, EPMOs, and PMs often struggle with the complexity of strategic planning due to the need to analyze multiple scenarios and make informed decisions that align with company goals. Traditional methods involve labor-intensive processes that lack flexibility and quick adaption to changing environments. This results in inefficient decision-making, poor strategic alignment, and lack of clear communication on planning rationales. Scenario planning uh, contained experience addresses these challenges by enabling the creation of multiple portfolio plan alternatives within a simulation environment. This supports decision-making process and helps to rationalize plan with leadership. Users can quickly adapt to changing environments by iterating on plans, ensuring that investments align with company goals and provide maximum value. Now, to look a little further in scenario planning, we empower you to create multiple plans to compare and review trade-off analysis and strategic alignment. We can view these plans side by side to compare quickly. From here, we can streamline the approval process, allowing the main roadmap to easily be overridden to allow your organization to pivot in real time and maintain your strategic alignment and organized planning environment. We want to make sure we're promoting you to be dynamic to ever-changing goals and strategies. Now, once you've finalized on a roadmap, we've added the ability to quickly export roadmaps as a PowerPoint to easily be shared. This ensures we enhance communication with stakeholders with visually appealing and up-to-date roadmaps. Now, with that, we're going to jump into a live instance and test these features out. So now, I will be stepping into the shoes of a portfolio manager. Very recently, I just got word from our leadership that we need to redesign our CRM. It's a top priority. So two new planning items need to be placed in our portfolio, and I need to figure out how I'm going to do that. So here in the strategic planning workspace, I can see all the portfolios and who owned them. But I'm going to go ahead and click into our consumer digital product portfolio three-year roadmap. Now, right away, once we get in this plan, at the top, we can see the timeline you know, and who owns this portfolio as well. Now, down below, we can see all of our planning items being ranked by our priority from one to 16. Along with this, we can see the state that these different planning items are in. We can see if it's a new, if it's in review, being prioritized, if it's done or if it's canceled. And we can also see the planning item type as well, whether it's a demand or a project. Now, I can see our two new items here, which are CRM portal redesign part one and part two. And we're going to see we prioritize them as one and two. But let's go and create a scenario to compare what would what would it be like to add these two items into our portfolio. So if we go up here, we can hit create scenario. We're able to add a name, we're at a, add a description, and we're able to copy from a current plan or from another scenario. But I've already gone ahead and created this scenario. So let's go ahead and click into that. Now, once we jump into here right away, what you're going to notice is we're in simulation mode meaning that we're not going to be affecting the, the current plan. We can go ahead and add our new CRN items by toggling them in plan, showing that we want to add them for this scenario. As we move through, maybe we want to get through whatever few items after some discussion based on adding these two, we're going to get rid of these two items here. Now on the left, as we make changes, you might've noticed that our primary goals have been changing. So we can see items that are aligned with our primary goals of the plan, and those that maybe don't have a primary goal. Now, if we click on roadmap, we can see the duration of these planned items based on our approved start and end dates. We can drag these around if we wanted to, shorten or lengthen them, as you can see, drag them around if we'd like to. And we can also view any dependencies between our planning items as well. Now, we could also filter this in a multitude of ways, like we could even change this from, you know, break it down by department, or even break it down further by owner within those departments. Now we could go ahead and go to the top. We could create a new scenario if we wanted to. We could also manage our scenarios. Within here, we can see 
uh, the different scenarios we have, who created them, if we want to delete them or go into them, we could go ahead and do that. But we want to go ahead and compare these scenarios. Now that we've updated the scenario, let's compare them to our current plan and other possible scenarios out there. So in here, we can add up to five scenarios to compare at once. Here we're going to see our current plan and, and a couple other scenarios that have been created. In the middle, we can see our CRM redesign. And we see that, that in the trade-off, our CRM planning items will be added and those other two planning items will be removed. Now, we built this to let you facilitate informed decision-making by providing side-by-side -side comparisons of strategic alignment, scope delta, and future metrics, accelerating planning process through collaborative decisions. Now, once we determine which scenario makes the most sense, we can hit approve. We're gonna go ahead and approve this scenario. In here, it's gonna to explain to you you know what approving this scenario will do. Approving this will override other planning items that were previously prioritized and place these new ones on the roadmap. We also could add some notes or justification for doing so to let us know why we chose this. So let's go ahead and approve it. Now that we approved it, we can come in here and we can see that our two new items, CRM portal redesign part one and part two, have been prioritized. If we move to the roadmap, we can see they are now been added to the roadmap as well, as we can see here, and things have been updated. Now you can really see how easy ServiceNow makes it to add new items in the portfolio and give you the visibility to compare scenarios and understand the trade-offs. Now that I've updated my roadmap, I wanna send this to any relevant stakeholders, give them visibility into the change. With our new export roadmap to PowerPoint feature, I can do just that. If I click on this button, I'm brought to the screen where I can adjust the dates if needed. I can also turn on compact mode if I wanna fit in more items into one slide. And then I can adjust some other settings if desired, but I know I'm good with this. So once I export this, I will get something that looks like this. In here, we can see our roadmap. We can see all of our prioritized items that have been added in here. We can see our CRM redesign have been added. We can see any milestones within the each project and we can see the percent complete of the projects. Scenario planning enhances strategic agility by enabling users to create, compare, and approve multiple plan alternatives, facilitating informed decision-making and alignment with company goals while streamlining communication and improving planning efficiency. In conjunction with expert and roadmap to PowerPoint, we can quickly share our changes with relevant stakeholders to keep them in the know. Thank you for taking the time today to watch this video. This takes us to the end of some of the key features that were released in our Xanadu release for SBM. To learn more, please visit servicenow.com or contact your account team. Also, please like and subscribe to the ServiceNow community channel here on YouTube to see more videos like this.